Here we outline an approach for simulation of PRONAV in three spatial dimensions. First, some preliminaries. The variable R is position. R subscript one would be the one component of a position vector. The position vector is denoted R with an arrow above it. R sub T would be position vector of a target. RT1 would be the one component of the target position vector. Here's the position vector broken out into its three components where the superscript I denotes the inertial coordinate system assigned to an inertial frame of reference. This is the position vector of the target with respect to the pursuer. That's T forward slash P also termed the relative position. This is the relative velocity vector. ZEM is zero effort miss. Now, a subscript N on the zero effort miss vector is an N component. In the previous modules, we talked about a line of sight coordinate system. So this is the line of sight coordinate system where the R direction is along the line of sight and N is perpendicular to that direction so this would be the zero effort miss component along the normal direction to the line of sight, but it's resolved in the inertial coordinate system. One is used as a unit vector. So this is the unit vector along the line of sight direction that's resolved in the inertial coordinate system. Here's a summary of the variables and notation for the forthcoming material. This can be used as a reference in case you need to come back. Now, with the preliminaries over, let's get on to the meat of this subject. Let's talk about PRONAV in 3D, and for this, we're going to use the zero effort miss form of PRONAV. So let's start with an inertial frame of reference with an inertial coordinate system assigned. We have a pursuer, pursuer position vector, target, target position vector, relative position vector, to determine that, it's simply the difference between the target position and pursuer position, and the relative velocity is simply VT minus VP. Now, recall the concept of zero effort miss. So at the current instant, as shown in this diagram, if the pursuer and target do not maneuver all the way to TF, the final time, or time to go equals zero, then the miss distance that results is also called the zero effort miss vector. So let's overlay a hypothetical zero effort miss that's here been enlarged just for illustrative purposes. So zero effort miss is the present relative distance plus the relative velocity times time to go. Now recall from the previous module that zero effort miss perpendicular to the line of sight direction is what's input into the PRONAV law. So we gotta get at that zero effort miss normal to the line of sight direction. So for this, it's useful to attach a coordinate system with one of the unit vectors along the line of sight direction here and one unit vector normal to the line of sight as shown here. So this unit vector will denote one N resolved in the inertial frame. And this one is one R. Now to get to zero effort miss resolved along this direction, we're first going to determine this unit vector 1r, the line of sight direction. So if we know the relative position vector, then this unit vector is simply relative position vector divided by range. The line of sight unit vector allows us to determine zero effort miss along the line of sight direction. To do this, we simply take the dot product of zero effort miss with the one R direction, the line of sight direction. This gets us the magnitude of this vector. And then the direction is one R. So we multiply that magnitude by the direction and we have zero effort miss along the line of sight direction resolved in the inertial coordinate system. Now we can determine zero effort miss normal to the line of sight, perpendicular to the line of sight, by simply subtracting ZEM from ZEMR. -E 
This is the key input in the zero effort miss form of proportional navigation. ZEMN has three components. Each of those components is input into a PRONAV law, a zero effort miss form of PRONAV along each coordinate direction of the inertial system. Now that we've covered how PRONAV can be implemented in 3D with zero effort miss, let's talk about the kinematics of the pursuer and target. The time rate of change of the pursuer position in the one direction of the inertial coordinate system is equal to the velocity of the pursuer in the one direction in the inertial coordinate system. And we can apply that in the other two directions. And V dot of the pursuer, the pursuer acceleration along the one direction in the inertial coordinate system is now that PRONAV law implemented in the one direction. And so key here is that we have zero effort miss normal to the line of sight, but it's the one component of that in the inertial coordinate system. And then a similar thing is implemented in the other two coordinate directions. At this stage, I'm not going to implement a pseudopilot like I have in previous modules, but we will get to that in the coming modules of this section. Here's the target position equations. And finally, target velocity equations. Here, integrating gives VT1, VT2, and VT3. The right-hand side is the target acceleration, and this is a user-specified target maneuver. And for now, we're just gonna leave this general as something that could be chosen by the user of the simulation. Now let's bring this all together with a pseudo algorithm for simulation. We start off like we did with the previous two dimensional sims where we input the engagement parameters. Once we've set up the engagement initial conditions and parameters, then for each time step, starting at the initial time and going all the way to end time steps, we do the following procedure. First, update your time to go. Then, compute zero effort miss at the current time step. Determine the line of sight direction resolved in the inertial coordinate system. And finally, compute zero effort miss perpendicular to the line of sight. That's the necessary input to the zero effort miss form of PRONAV. Now we can proceed to compute the kinematics. Here's the right-hand side of the target position equations, the target velocity equations, the pursuer position equations, and the pursuer velocity equation. Where on the right-hand side, notably, we have the zero effort miss form of PRONAV that's implemented in each direction of the inertial coordinate system. Also, note that this target acceleration is still a user-defined formula. There could be no acceleration, there could be a barrel roll. It's up to us to program what that ought to be and the selection of the target maneuver and when that maneuver begins is an input into the engagement simulation. Now, these right-hand sides of the kinematic equations are the slopes of the state variables with respect to time. And that can be used then in some integration routine. Here for simplicity, we're just going to consider a forward Euler where we're updating the state at time step tj plus 1 as the current state plus delta t times the right-hand side of the kinematic equations or times the slopes of the kinematic states with respect to time. The updated state variables update the zero effort miss and the procedure proceeds until the final time step of the simulation at which point the results are post-processed. Before proceeding further, pause the video and check your understanding with these true or false questions. In the next module, we will implement what we've developed here to explore three-dimensional engagements.